Welcome back to P3. Today we're looking at proving trigonometric identities. And this is unit 4.6. Now you've already been doing some proving previously in the course. Now we're just adding in the new identities that we've learnt. And the setup is still the same. I'll do an example just to show you and I'll give you plenty of questions which then I'll go through at the end of the video. Let's make a start. So if the question starts with show that or prove that, um, then you need to approach it just by looking at one side. The biggest thing that people make, biggest mistake, is that they focus on doing things to both sides as if it's an equation when it's an identity. So we have to just focus on one side of the identity and manipulate it until we get it to the other side. So in this question, we're going to start with the left hand side and we've got cos 4 theta or cos to the power 4 theta I should say. Now looking on the right hand side we've got 2 theta and 4 theta so we know we're going to be dealing with double angles. So let's have a think of the double angle formula for cos and this is 2 cos squared theta minus 1. And that's the one I'm using because everything in my identity at the top is in terms of cos. And then rearranging this, I'm going to end up with cos squared theta is going to be a half cos 2 theta plus a half. And this is what I'm going to substitute in. So my cos to the 4 theta is cos squared theta squared or cos squared theta times cos squared theta however you want to think about it okay I'm just going to write it as squared so this is now a half cos 2 theta plus a half squared and I need to expand this bracket so remember square this first term twice the product And square that last term. Okay, and now we've made some progress. But what you can see is I've still got a squared term here. So that means I still need to use this again, but this time with the 2 theta. So I'll do this in black so you can see. But what I'm looking at now is a half. So if I look at cos squared 2 theta, and this would be a half cos 4 theta plus a half. So that is my second substitution there. So now I've got one quarter and then it's a half cos four theta plus a half plus my half cos two theta plus one quarter. And now it's about expanding and simplifying. So I've got 1 eighth cos 4 theta plus 1 eighth plus a half cos 2 theta plus 1 quarter. 1 eighth plus 1 quarter is 3 eighths plus a half cos 2 theta plus 1 eighth cos 4 theta. And that there is the right hand side. So I've shown it and I've done every step and I've got my substitution on the right. So there's nothing to stop me getting full marks on this one. So on this one I'm looking at the sine 3 theta and the cos 3 theta making them 2 theta plus theta and then I want to expand that and then all I want then on that top bit is a sine theta which will cancel with this bottom sine theta and a cos theta which will cancel with this bottom cos theta. Okay, Once I've got that then I should be able to get it in this form.
here you can see there's a sine theta in both of my top terms. So I can cancel that with the one on the bottom. And then on the right here, there's a cos theta in both of my top terms, which will cancel with that on the bottom. And simplifying, this leaves the cos 2 theta and the minus cos 2 theta to cancel out. And I'm going to end up with a sine squared and a cos squared, which I know that that equals 1. Okay, looking at this one, left hand side. Now, we want to make these as a single fraction. You can see the bottom there, sine b cos b, sine b times cos b. So we just want to make this a single fraction. So here we're just looking at using the addition formula on both of these and taking the sine squared outside of that trig identity.